Welcome to this video on combination reactions. So what we're going to be learning through this video is what a combination reaction is, how a combination reaction happens, and methods of combination reactions. So let's start by focusing on what a combination reaction is. Remembering that a compound is made up of two or more separate elements. So a combination reaction occurs when two compounds or two elements combine together to form a brand new compound. So here I have an example of two elements, A and B, combining together to form a brand new compound, AB. And I'll show you what this looks like a little bit more in real life. So if we take the element magnesium and combine it with the element oxygen, we're going to produce magnesium oxide. And it looks a bit like this where you burn a piece of magnesium ribbon over a Bunsen burner to combine it with oxygen. So again, one more time, a combination reaction is a reaction that occurs when two compounds or elements combine together to form a brand new compound. Now that we know what a combination reaction is, we can move on to find out how the reaction actually happens. So a combination reaction can occur two ways. It can happen spontaneously, this means that the reaction will just occur if the two compounds come in contact with each other. Otherwise, the reactions will require help, and this can come in various forms. In particular, we'll be concentrating on light, and mostly focus on heat that is required to add energy to a reaction so that it can occur. For example, if we look at magnesium plus oxygen again, we'll see we're going to add heat, and this is going to cause the oxygen molecules to break apart. It is then in a reactive state in which it combined with magnesium, forming magnesium oxide. So again, the two main ways that the reactions are going to happen is either spontaneously or with added heat to the reaction. Now that we know how the reactions can occur, we're going to move on to methods of combination reactions. There are three things we need to keep in our mind when regarding a method for a combination reaction. What are the substrates in the reaction? that is the substances we start with, how does the reaction occur, that is, is it spontaneous, does it need light or heat energy, and what are the products that are formed, so the substances that we are left with at the end of the reaction. Here I've put on a wee example for us to work through, so we're going to describe a method and how to prepare magnesium oxide. So what are the substrates, they're going to be magnesium and oxygen, how is the reaction going to occur, as we saw in the wee video, we need heat energy to make this occur. So we're going to add magnesium and oxygen together by burning a magnesium ribbon under a Bunsen burner so it can combine with the oxygen in the air. And what are the products that are formed? So the product that was formed is magnesium oxide. Again, when describing a method, we need to be concentrating on what the substrates are, how the reaction happens, and what products are formed from the reaction. And that sums up our basic overview of combination reactions. So our key points that we need to know are what a combination reaction is. That is a reaction of two separate substances combining together to form a new substance. How the reaction happens, either happens spontaneously or driven by an external factor such as light or heat energy. And the methods of a combination reaction and the three things we need to remember what the substrates are, how the reaction occurs, and what products are formed. In the next video, we will look further into the observations we will see during combination reactions and how we will go about solving equations for these kinds of reactions.